Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. My name's Derek Ray and delighted to have alongside me, as usual on these occasions, Stuart Robson. And with kick-off just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. Stuart, how do you see this one going? Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. Michael Keane plays alongside James Tarkovsky in central defence. Abdoulaye Ducouré plays alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, it's great to see them play with the front two, but for it to work, they need to have a good understanding. They need to link up with each other and provide a different set of skills. And the contest begins. Oh, no, no. Gray now. He will be. And return to Ducure. Oh, surely. And not cleared away properly. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Well, so close to seeing an early goal here. It's a great save, you have to say. Well, who knows? He might be called upon again. Still some defending to do. Well, beating his opponent. Can he finish here? Able to get his body in the way. Delivering it into the box. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. But he really is danger personified. But in this game, Stuart, what do you think we might see from him? Well, Derek, the graphic tells you everything about his current form. Second in the table in terms of league goals, and he looks so threatening at the moment. He'll look to add to those numbers once again today. Coleman. It's with Ducure. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. McNeil. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Keen to take it short here. Nicely cut out. Alex. I must say, this looks promising. Amadou Onana. Vitali Mikolenko. Gray now. It will be. And the referee blows for a foul. Oh, no, no. Gray now. McNeil. 
And he did well to cut it out. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. Chance to cross. Well, no problems defensively. Vitali Mikolenko losing possession. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Must score! Well, he made contact with the crossbar. Goal kick here. Great. Teammates available. A disappointing end to the move. Ducure. Can they forge ahead? Keeper did his job to begin with. There it is! The first goal of the game, and the lead certainly doesn't flatter them. Good value for it. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So underway again here, 1 0 the score. And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. And can he find someone at the far post? And clears the danger. Oh, nice ball over the top. As eyes for goal! But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. Onana. Oh, Gray now. Oh, getting close to the half-time break, and the visitors find themselves behind. Stuart, what have you made of this? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Amadou Onana. Making progress. Can't miss, surely. Still a chance. Well, time is up as far as the first half is concerned here on Merseyside. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? So they get the ball rolling once more, and it's advantage Everton after the first half. Let's see what the second 45 has in store for us. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Just the challenge that was required. Onana. Oh, and beating the defender. Ducure.
Now would he well be? Could be! Really good piece of goalkeeping there. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. Vitali Mikolenko. Well, nicely cut out. Onana. Oh, what an opportunity. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. Goal for the visitors. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Jake Jervis. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. Went in strongly to win the ball. Real chance. Promising attack, but his timing was off. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. A gift for any goalkeeper. He takes aim. And using his body to good effect. Well, he's won the ball. Gray. The supporters want to see him have a go. And a goal to re-establish their advantage. Just look at the celebrations. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Offensive Brazilians to shut them down. He's in with a chance. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Oh, that's a fine pass. Amadou Onana. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Idrissa Gay. 
and just what was needed from the goalkeeper. Well, so late in the game, that's a brilliant stop from the keeper. Big moment for him. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. It's a short corner. A wonderful intervention. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, it petered out. And a poor ball. Well, Everton will probably get one more big chance to win this game and don't these fans know it just listen to this noise it's incredible and a useful cross splendid defending and collected tidily he had plenty to think about good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch Well, these fans are driving their team on here, but can Everton find a winning goal? Not long left now. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Delivered into the box. They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time. Well, the ball rolling again here, the first period of extra time, and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part of this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Must take the lead here, and fired against the crossbar. No spillage from the goalkeeper, routine. Well, that was a bit unlucky, because you just get the feeling they need to make the Oh, most. wait a minute. They could be in here. And a goal! There he is! And the double! They just can't subdue him! Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. Everton having shipped a goal, now have work to do going forward. Gray and a tidy ball. Chance to cross. And the ball is loose. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Playing it short. And a penalty awarded. Spot kick coming up. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. 
And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Can they make it three apiece? And the penalty is converted. A goal it is. And now he can exhale. Well, as you can see, the keeper just stands still and the ball's hit down the side of him. It's a strange one in the end. Underway again. We can't complain about a lack of entertainment. 3-3. chance and he read it well defensively Tom Davis so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on might be a chance here oh a save of the highest order well he got his angles absolutely right what a good save that is Playing it in, not away completely. Just couldn't get it through. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here. Well, underway again, the second period of extra time. Who's going to prevail here? Tarkovsky. And on the ball, Keane. McNeil. Garner. And now Dominic Carbert-Lewin. And it's Tom Davis. And the keeper getting across to stop it. He's driven in the corner. And the problem not completely solved. Can they hit on the break? A bit sloppy in possession. Calvert-Lewin. Well, wonderful counter-attacking football. Just unfortunate that they didn't score. Well, had he scored, that would have been a great goal. The speed in which they changed from defence to attack was brilliant. Sing. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. And a very good challenge. And they need to get tighter. Oh, the penalty's been given. Late drama here. And how costly could that prove to be? Well, no card handed out, but quite a few upset players out there, Stuart. Well, he's made a genuine attempt to play the ball, so penalty yes, yellow card no. List to put them in front once more. And slot it home! Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot.
Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. How can they find a late leveller? Davis. And there goes the final whistle. No cause for celebration in the Everton camp. A defeat for them here. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing.